Michael B. Jordan. He's an actor. Uh, he was in Fruitvale Station. People loved him in that. And now he has been cast as Johnny Storm in the new Fantastic Four movie. What? What? Yeah. He's black. What? Well, well technically, well. when he turns stormy, he's yeah. orange. Um, so, uh, and by the way, anything I know, anything I know about this news article is all thanks to TYT producer Kim Horcher. So mm. big, huge shout out to Kim. Okay, except I don't think he turns orange. She so. said he, he turns, turns super torchy and flamey. Oh, torchy, flame. okay, because the yeah. thing turns orange. Yeah, I don't know. I don't okay, know. The thing just is orange. Yeah, but this dude yeah. turns real fiery. Um, people don't real like fiery. this. P this is very upsetting to our super racist, geekist mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, don't, I don't know why, well, but there's... Let's just go with the, to the super racist element of the geek culture. My hunch is... Most, Most people don't give a shit. I think, oh, cool, an interesting, young, vibrant actor. Yeah, well, yeah. and, and this isn't the, the first. They, they, they bitched about um, uh, Donald Glover um, doing a possible Spider-Man, and there was some sort of outcry, which I think is a pretty well, strong word. Spider-Man can't be black. Right? Yeah, right. Right. Uh, yeah, and Donald Glover. About, uh, that's, he's too old for that shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I, was, I was considering it. Let's argue about it. Mm. Oh. I, just I just got it. I just got it. And yeah. uh, and uh, Idris El. Oh, Idris. 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 Oh, in uh, as Heimdall. Hemdall. Humdall. Heimdall. Thank you. And Thor. And people Valhalla. Don't, people don't like this. This freaks everybody out. Um, one uh, e expert says fans often seem to believe that if a character is changed from white to black, they will no longer be able to identify with them as a superhero. Do, can, do you fly? <laughs> do you remember the people getting this angry is Aaron about? Aaron Cashton, a postdoctoral fellow at Georgia Tech. Right. Do you remember at Christmas time, like there was like a black Santa Claus or something, and people got really mad about it. There was a there was a Fox News story, and she was like, yes. she was like, Santa is white. Children, in case you're watching, yeah. and like, yeah. did he not? So horrible. It's so insane. We, since when do any of these people, God bless you? Identify with a superhero. Since when do any of us at all identify with superheroes? This is what's keeping you from being able to identify with a fictional character. Okay, now, because I did an interview with Stan Lee yeah. for a piece that may or may not air Hold on a on. show that may or may not exist. You dropped this. <laughs> Name Stan Lee. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, for uh, uh, Al Jazeera yep. America. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's not really dropping anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, and you know, and so, what, because I'm not really into superheroes uh, either. Um, I'm into real heroes. <laughs> uh, but the thing about the m Marvel heroes, of course, is that they are identifiable, that these people are all, they all, you know, they, they argued with their spouses, they struggled to make rent, they have, they get really mad, they get petty and bitchy with each other. So th this, starting with Spider-Man, or I'm not really starting with the Fantastic Four, but then quickly followed by Spider-Man, is that these were regular guys. They didn't have some mythic story right. behind them. And so I think that's part of what it is here. I'm not excusing right, this in any way. And neither was that guy you were quoting. Right, the, but that still doesn't make any sense because everybody of every color does that. So it's yeah, not totally, that that makes totally, them exclusively yeah. white. Yeah. I still don't. Well, they're just they were invented in the '60s, and yeah. every, all the writers uh, or uh, illustrators assume they even they say in the thing about yeah. Stanley uh, put a black guy on a Captain America's team or something like that, or, or Sergeant Fury's team, and he had to tell the illustrators to, that he's no, he's not white. You got to you got to paint him as black guy. Yeah, because you would just assume. Because they just assumed. So you know, I don't know. People are attached to their aesthetic they grew up with and stuff. Right. And, and they're racist also. Well, but also <laughs> no, 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 that, that, that. that was more Idris Elba <laughs> craziness because they wanted him to be the next James. Bond, which, if we're taking votes, but yeah, people totally. are freaked out about having a, a black James Bond. I mean, I don't know. So, I don't know why. So, you know, I don't know that I would go as far as calling these guys racist that, that are freaked out by it. I think that a lot of the geeky guys, like, they like have this sense, and it's not just geeky guys. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey. Remember, they picked an actor who was a perfectly good-looking actor and stuff, and totally. the people who were enthusiasts were like, "No!" And there was no racial issue or not. Like, no, he's not the right guy. I was diddling myself to another guy. You no, can't do I, that. I think, I think that's <laughs> right. And so, so in this case, they're kind of thrown off by that it's well, different I mean, everybody gets than so they mad. were imagining. So I don't think. It's I mean, everyone's very mad. To your point about Ben Affleck playing uh, Batman or whatever yeah, in the upcoming, they, right. you know, like so, you know, there is a thing of like that's just the wrong guy. There's right, so but we're not that. getting on people who go, I think Michael Jordan is the wrong guy, I think he's a wonderful actor, and I think there could be a black superhero, but I don't think he's the right guy to play Johnny Fire. Um, <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Fire. <laughs> now yeah. yep. I got that right. Johnny Fire. Um, but, you know, when they go, Johnny Fire's white, 
Well, that is that's that's racist. Like they don't. You think so? Nah, yeah. I don't think it's racist. I, 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 I'm in the minority here, but I, I don't know. There's, uh, I think, I do think there's a lot of race in like in it just because that's real. But I do think you're making a valid point. There's that Jack Reacher movie came out, and Tom Cruise is Jack Reacher, and all the fans of the book were like, he's like six foot three and 250 pounds. Myself included. With yep. hands like you know, yep. and so it's like that would be that. And you know? I didn't know anything about that movie, and I swear to God, I thought it was a joke. Like because he's so tiny, he has to reach for everything, <laughs> so he's Jack Reacher, like. A, like an SNL character. <laughs> I, this was a comedy. Jack Reacher was a comedy. You thought it was like an SNL skit? Yes, like, like, like MacGruber? Like, he's just going to be like, Reacher! Oh, God, I want to save you and I can't 